video and if you were if you've been to my channel earlier today you saw a quick run through of my pelican by chic sparrow and you also saw a much more detailed run through of my uh, creme brulee black beauty a6 notebook so what i want to show you now is this cute little pencil pouch case thing i got this um on a trip to target um i guess that was just was that saturday just yesterday um and i had spotted this and they had another one that was blue with like a grid pattern on it um, and uh, I, th I saw them and thought, oh, well, I'll go back and I'll just be able to get them. Well, you know, school st year started and very few um, things were left. But I was able to find this in the school supplies clearance aisle. And I don't think it was much of a clearance. It might have been like $2 off. So instead of like six bucks i think it was four dollars um but i still didn't mind paying that because it's a wonderful um quality brand and also one thing that i love about the ub brand is when you buy something from them they will also donate um something of you know this either the same value or the, the exact same thing to a school in need um so that's cool and this i am other is will Farrell's um company they've got like a youtube channel and they do a lot of other wonderful things and so you know i was able to get a cool pencil case and you know it went to help other people so you can see it's very um thin but very rectangular there for a while many people were using these um in the midori land and this is a passport and plane ticket holder so it's it's very similar to that um like here you can see there's all these wonderful little pockets in this pocket zipper pouch more pockets a secretarial folder and there even is a little elasticated pen loop so people were using these but that wasn't their originally intended design but this is designed um, to be a pencil pouch. Oh, let's see. We'll delete that. So this was meant to be a pencil um, pouch. So you'll see the first thing here, there's a very deep pocket that runs the length of the front. Um, I haven't put anything in there, so I'm not sure what I would, but I might put like a, a note or something in there quickly and then file it later. Um, oh, before I zipper it, unzip it, there is also a folder or a pouch back here, which you could put some things in. And it's got that cute graphic inside there as well, or like post-it notes or I don't know, whatever you want to put in there. But it, it kind of reminds me of a um, Kipling style pencil case. So these are the things that I carry with me um, when I'm going teaching, and I usually have this in here when I'm going to the symphony to rehearse and stuff like that. So let's just kind of see what all I have in here. So we'll go in this little mesh pocket first. I have a Tombow, one of those whiteouts. Um, I have some... 0.5 HB um, Neox Graphite, and I use that in my um, pencils, my mechanical pencils. I have a Muji Eraser, Kashikoto. Um, let's see, what is this? Um, since I'm a flutist, I have some Badger Cool Mint Cocoa Butter Lip Balm. Um, I have, oop, that was the right side, some Roto Cool Eye Drops. Um, being a flute player and sometimes having to play in the dark in a pit, sometimes my eyes, you know, need a little something. Now, if 
we look over here, I have, I'm not going to take these out, I have two Ollie clips. I've got a little pair of scissors. I have them in there, but I've never had to use them. But I don't know, I, I guess my mother in me. I have them just in case. Let's see. I've got a couple of Pilot Friction Pens in a, like a royal blue, like a blue, black, and a purple. The purple is 07, and the others are a 0 0.5. Let's put those back. Um, let's see. I have a Uniball Signo pen here in white. I think this is one of the best white pens I've ever had. I have three Ticonderoga HB number no. two pencils, one of those shiny silver ones with the black wood, and then just two of the Ticonderoga blacks. Um, musicians, those are wonderful pencils for writing and erasing on music. Um, let's see. Uh, Let's go over here. These are Pilot Mica. If you can see that, Pilot High Tech C Mica, and it's the same ink that they have in their Coletto pens. Um, I have a Precision pen in the. Uh, zero 08. <laughs> it's quite a thick, chunky one, just in case. Um, this is a Kurakate. They um, are a company that make a wonderful set of watercolors that I have. It might not focus. Um, but it's a firmer brush pen. It's kind of nice to have. Um, everyone knows I can't go anywhere without having one of my Mujis, and this is just a Muji in black, and it is 038. There we go. 038. This is a Pilot Friction Pen, and it is one of the fanciest Pilot Friction Pens I've ever seen. It's a beautiful pen. I don't remember. It doesn't say the um, tip, but it's it's more like a ballpoint than one of the gel ink, which I think is interesting. I have a Muji mechanical pencil. Let's see. I have a friction blue highlighter. Beautiful color, light blue. Um, I have another blue friction pen, and it's a light blue, and it's a 0 0.5. And then this is a pen that I got in a, um, oh goodness, I think mustache stationery. It says Vermilion there, and then it says Live Works, and it's a really nice ballpoint. Um, I'm not a big fan of ballpoint, but this one's really nice. Um, let's see, and I've got one thing left in here. This is an insert, and it's my next insert. This is one of those little um, black binder clips that you can see through. I got it from, like, My Paper Geek or Doki Toki, oh, one of those on Etsy that has a lot of you know, them Dory stuff. And then what I have in here is the Peaky Dory Designs, and it is the October, November, December, and it is the next insert for inside my lovely Sheik Sparrow Pelican pocket notebook. Ah. This is our two days on a page. So there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the notes. 
and we leave it blank so you can stamp or sticker or if you buy the digital download you can print it to your heart's content um, i will link it down below on our etsy store we also have the same exact design available in a6 um, as a digital download or as one that we will make for you and i just used a really thin piece of scrap of paper that i had but it is such a wonderful design with large large squares for all of your planning needs so that is all the wonderful things that i have inside of this great pencil pouch that i found at target um i first saw them at Target in, I want to say, early August. And I know um, a few people on YouTube have done um, videos about them, like Mommy Plans um, and a few others. And I can't, how did I have this in here? I'll have to go look <laughs> at the beginning of the video to see how I had this in here. I think it was down there like that. Anyways, so I just wanted to show you what I, oh, now I'm back centered, what I carry with me when I'm going to work. Or sometimes if you see my photos on Instagram from the laundromat, this is usually the stuff that I have with me. Um, I will leave a detailed list down below of everything that I have in here. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will answer it as soon as I can. Thanks so much for stopping by. Um, like it, give it a thumb up, share this video around if you are crazy about Japanese pens, because everything in here is a Japanese pen except for the Ticonderoga pencils. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.